What is going on today? I got three pieces of portable tech that hopefully will change your life. All right, this is one piece of the tech I wanted to talk about. It's the, from Blindspot. It's a MPF power junkie. It uses MPF batteries. It's basically the Sony, Sony batteries that we all have. This is for an Atomos, but it's just a standard MPF battery. This one is the MPF, uh, MPF 750. Um, so it just goes right on there. Once you plug it in, it actually acts like a charger. So first and foremost, you can charge your MPF batteries USB-C or micro USB, which is amazing, especially USB-C chargers, which I have quite a few of. The other side gives you LED indicators to let you know where you are in your battery life, which is really cool. I think that's a big feature that, um, you know, we usually don't have. You have to use a charger to get that. And I hate carrying chargers around. So this is a much more easy to use portable option. The other side, you have a, a quarter 20 thread. So you can mount this onto a hot shoe or a cold shoe or whatever you like. Um, you mount it on a cage if you want to, which I like a lot. So on this side, you have USB. So these are five volt out USB ports, which is kind of nice and a 7.2 volt barrel plug, which I'm a huge fan of. That's that's a cool cool plug. You can plug that into like a, a Ninja, like what I'm using right now. You can plug that into the, to the monitor, power that out, 7.2 volts. The other piece of portable tech is gonna be something like this. Uh, it's gonna be a portable solution to audio. Um, I think this, these are way underrated in terms of your audio quality. Um, you know, we get used to recording sound through the camera or through an iPhone, which is totally fine. An iPhone or even a phone recording system with like a lavalier is, is fine. The audio quality is really good. If you wanna pick up, you know, wild sounds or sounds that are gonna be, you know, otherwise in the world, like when you're recording waterfalls or you're recording something in your audio, that's a little more sophisticated besides voice. Or even if you have a shotgun mic you wanna plug into this, or even I actually use the the, the Video Mic Pro, uh, which actually is a, a really nice piece of kit. These have XLR connectors, so you have two XLR connectors on this. You can actually add two more if you have the attachment at the top. But what's really cool is that it's got phantom power. So if you want a phantom power on a shotgun mic, it's awesome. The quality's a lot clearer than your preamps on your, on your camera or your phone. Um, but actually it's really cool. And the reason why I wanted to really show this one is because this is great for lavaliers. So if you have a lavalier mic, you're just trying to mic somebody up, or if you just want to record audio in general, this is actually a really good recorder for anything. So if you just want to record audio because, you know, you want to record audio, you want to record conversations, you're in a meeting, you want to record something, these are perfect. These are small, portable, audio quality is really good. I've done a couple videos and just put this on a on a pedestal where someone's talking and it sounds, sounds great. Um, all of these you can use obviously SD cards and things you can change the gain the audio level inputs microphones headphones all that stuff so you know this wasn't really meant to be a review of these it's more of a, an idea of you know what these are if you want to see a review of any of this stuff more in detail please let me know um, I just wanted to show this is something that we can take with us anywhere um, for me I use this even when I'm not on a, a shoot like I'm not going anywhere I'll still bring this with me I might record wild sounds that I wasn't expecting to hear, you know, a waterfall or a rock falling or something that you wouldn't expect, recording it and putting it on this or this, it, it makes a world of difference, it makes your job easier if you're doing videography or if you're, you know, into something else, but I think these are a huge underrated piece of technology, and a lot of people have them, but a lot of beginners, um, you know, I've knew a couple guys that, that still use their iPhone and they're still, and they're rocking, you know, amazing equipment, but it's like, they lack the audio, and these are just basic audio tools. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is these magic arms. So these things are amazing. Um, I use these all the time for a, a variety of different things. A lot of it's not even, you know, video or photography related. It's just I use them to hold things up or put things up. Um, but it's got a ton of different connectors uh, for these. I mean, you have your connectors basically for the actual connector themselves, like the actual arms, the friction arms. And then you have these clamps, which let me show you how this works. So the clamp, I can clamp off, clamp on anything. So I clamp this onto things all the time, and I'll have an arm that I can connect to. So these are very, very valuable. Uh, I use these constantly. Like these are, these are something I really like. So if you wanted to hold like a phone up, or if you're using like a gimbal or anything like that, you can you can plug these in, or you can put this on your tripod and have it stick sticking out. Um, I've actually seen people use these for a variety of different things. So if you need a light, 
So one thing too is if you have, you know, a light like this, um, these have connectors on them. I have the, the little adapter. You put the light on here and you can put the light wherever you want. And these are cool. I mean, this is a cool little portable feature. You put this in a bag, you take this with you, you can plug this in. And even if you're working on the car or you're out and about and you need to plug something in and get some light off of it, I mean, these things are super bright and there's tons of different types of these. So basically you just connect these and then you can you can light up your way. So plug this into the car, or have that synced up, or have this snipped onto something and put the light up there so you can see what's going on. It's a it's a really cool feature. Yeah, these these friction arms are a lifesaver. Different lengths, like this is I think an 11 or 12 inch one. This is like a six inch one. But yeah, I use these all the time. Clamps onto anything, it's rubberized so it doesn't damage whatever it is you're clamping onto. Um, but yeah, these are fantastic portable item. Uh, another piece of tech, another piece of hardware that uh, I, I use a lot. I mean, I carry some of this stuff with me, usually the small one, in a bag in my trunk. And if I ever need to clamp something on, which on occasion I'll have a you know an issue with my car, put it on, and uh, it makes a huge difference. It's actually a really cool feature. All right, those are the three pieces of simple tech that I wanted to go over. Um, portable, easy to use, something you can use every day, and you don't have to spend a fortune on it. I think the biggest thing is to keep it cheap and try to do something where it's gonna make a big impact for a minimal amount of money. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars on lights. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars on things that are gonna get you better battery life. You don't need to spend a fortune, portable gear, uh, for anything, video, for photos, for audio. Go cheap, you know, if you're starting off, there's no reason to spend thousands of dollars on gear. Um, go simple, because it is gonna take a long time to master the gear you have, and then once you do, Moving up the gear chain will be much, much easier, believe me. The cool thing is too, a lot of these things you can use on any sort of project. It doesn't have to be just video or just photos, you can do it with anything. I wanted to give you some ideas of things you could use when you're out in the field. Uh, one thing is, is I mean, these are things that I didn't have when I first started and I ended up either buying them or getting them somehow and it changed the way I do things. Sometimes we have to get creative. Um, instead of spending thousands of dollars, it's all about the story and all about the idea. And I think these little things, things that don't cost too much money, uh, make a big impact in, in, in a big way. If you like this video, go ahead and send me a like. Uh, go ahead and comment on my page and let me know what you think. Put in the comments below which piece of tech is your favorite and give me some ideas of other tech that you guys use. Portable stuff that may, may benefit you guys and help other people. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one.